So welcome to part two of our NEC tour. If you haven't seen part one, then the link is in the description below and we're gonna pick up part two where part one finished. So let's carry on exploring the NEC Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show 2022. We've been here for three and a half hours and we've done one haul out of five. So at this rate, we're gonna need, what's five times three and a half? 17 and a half hours, I think. Three, five, 15, yeah, something like that. 17 hours to see all the hauls. Um, so we better get a move on because we have a lot to see. Here's Caravan and Motown Club, which we are members of. So hall two I think is a lot smaller um, than hall one was. So it should be a piece of cake to navigate. Okay, let's see what the next two hours in this hall brings us. Still going there. <laughs> no, don't go in there, Max. Why? Look what <laughs> Max was gonna go in there. I like the colours in here. This is a right off, off road of their job though, isn't it? Yeah. Mom, can I get food? No, I know. Well, yeah. Can I get food? That's what I found in that other motorhome. There's no room for people to get. If I was cooking I mean, to, to get, get past, there's no room. Let me tell you. Ah, there's a ladder. Yeah, come in. I will in a minute when I can get past. I'm just going to shuck past Mummy. I love the way it takes off the shoes. Even if I want. He is. Oh, you mind taking that for me? Yeah, I'll just... Thank you. Good okay. This is quite a nice size shower room, actually. So, um, I'm nearly six foot, so that's pretty good. Oh, this is good. Look at all that. It's a good idea. Oh, yeah. That's how you get up, I guess. And that's how you get down. Yeah. <laughs> Tiny microwave. And the fridge. What's around? Oh, there's a door. God, it's really tight. It is really tight. Even Daddy's too big for a boy. Come on, dude, because other people waiting. Oh, 100 people waiting to come in, darling. Or oh, 200, then, if you want me to tell the truth. Uh, no, they've gone now. They're around the back, actually. Shut very easily. Maybe it's locked somehow. So that is a moto moto trek terrain that's more suited to adventurers and not families. Not for us, anyway. Come on. So this is another moto trek, isn't it? It's like the one we hired. Is this like the one we hired? Without a, oh, okay. But it's just, it's got more storage space. It's got two wardrobes on side. Where's but, the fridge then? So the fridge uh, is at the bottom. Okay. So the fridge is at the bottom. And you've got See, more work top yeah. space. This is but it's just, there's no room to get up. So is it only two baths? It must only be two, two baths. Two baths. Which is a shame. I think this would be better as a sliding door, wouldn't it? Yeah. Where did we see a sliding door? Well, that one had one, and we see saw one in another one, I can't remember. It had a sliding door, and that was a much better idea. Microwave, but awkward position for the microwave. Fridge. 
fridge. Fridge, got a shelf up there. There's Max. Don't forget your bag, Max. Yeah. Oh, it's got water in this one, by the looks of it. Three ring hob. This shelf, I'm not sure about. Been driving. No, you don't need. Unless yeah. it's, there's a TV point up there, though, so maybe it's designed to put. I don't know. See, this is good. What's that? It's for electrics. It's for your plugs. Yeah, the wardrobes would be good for storage, definitely. It seems like it's better made than the other one. So that's quite a big wardrobe. Yeah. With drawers. So it's a close, and you've got pants in. Game for now. Where do you put all your food, though? What have they got over there? Uh, no, that's a good point. What's in here? That's. Oh no, there's cupboard. Oh. Yeah, cupboard. Drawer. This is really tight here, though. I know, it's, it's crazy so tight. tight. You put you put some pans in there. Yeah, you put some pans in there. And other things like that. There is some space up here again. Cutlery in one drawer. Storage up, there's space up here. You could put pillows or something. Yeah. I just don't like them now. No, okay, well. There you go, there's another one for you. What are you scallywags doing? Did oh my god, it's tiny. One? No, I didn't. I, much, I prefer the ones that I saw earlier. And the other side. Yeah, it's too yeah. made into one. This is. this is like, what we could do is we could tow this and then attach this to the side of the yeah. camper van. Yeah. Let me just give a quick 360 of it. Teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny caravan again. With a huge shower that's pitch black because there's no lights on. Uh, I have to have the roof up to get in here because the roof is here and I'm here. Uh, so the roof is obviously there. So you'd have to have the elevation up. Bed at the front. Furry sheep on the worktop. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a bit small, but still funky. Let's move on. This is six, sleep six, apparently. Uh, hi, hi, darling. This is a base camp one again. We saw a really small base camp one earlier. This one apparently sleeps six, so two here, I guess. Uh, two there. Three, four, five. Where's the sixth one? There. Oh, it goes up. Yeah. Something here goes up. Okay. Here, honey. Come round. Come round. I'll show you. Mummy doesn't believe me. I think it's got something to do with these. Something must lift up, and it might become like this. Oh, I see. So somehow you can have this um, contraption down here. I think lifts up and becomes like a bit a like it is this bed. side. Maybe this comes down and becomes another lounge. So you could have a lounge this end and make leave that bed up. Uh, I'm just uh, mind your head up there. Guinea pigs can go up there. Guinea pigs can go up there. We'll fill them up in. Idea. So this is pretty funky. So let's have a quick look around. This one seems to have a lot of interest in this one. So there's a the lounge area at the front, which we're assuming turns into a bed. It's using these frames. They're more like camp beds than proper beds, but um, Here's a shower and toilet. Yeah, one second, mate. Shower up there, which is in the middle, sink. Uh, there's a shower curtain that goes around, so that will obviously keep everything splash proof, hopefully. Sink here, lots more space in between. I keep forgetting I'm in a caravan though, which I don't really want, but uh, for caravanners, this would be cool. This is a funky little caravan if you are looking for something a bit trendier or something a bit more standout-ish than a the traditional Hi. caravan. There's Max. Right, cool. You like it, Max? You like it? Yeah. One day, if you ever get into caravans. Yeah, not bad. Right, let's get you out, darling, so we're going to get something to eat. Okay, bye. I'm looking 
looking for camping camping cinema well i can't even find the camping cinema place so oh here we go the cinema shop camping cinema oh look at this look at this Suzanne would like to see this one. Let's go get her. That drops down into the film case. Wow, wow, this is amazing. That lifts off, the back shelf lifts off, and it all collapses into this bag. So, this is a cinema in the awning. In the pop -up. And then, um, because in Perth, wow, we've, got, cool. we've got California, so we're all, oh, we've got cupboards there, haven't we? Have we yeah, got... but the cupboards back here. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. So oh, we've, we've got a wardrobe. Like... This is that's just a piece. We made that up. So like I say, this camping cinema at the end is amazing. It's 790 or 800 pounds, but if you've got a pop top, oh, you'll see a video of it in another, or a sample of it in another clip, but it's really, really good. So this is... And I regret I didn't take much footage of this camping cinema, which I should have done because we really thought it was pretty cool. So lesson learned, next time I will. This looks like the cafe in Hall uh, 2, no, in Hall 1, but we are in Hall 3 and they have a couple of these all over the place so no shortage of opportunities for food. I don't like I've decided I so, don't like it. Don't this is the same as the one we've just hired back. We had this problem. It's the same by the way. I don't know if you can see same. that. It's the same. It just seems to be not very well put together for some reason. Yeah, this was a doggy drawer in the other one. See that this in. slides better than it did in the one that we had, definitely. Oh, oh. I just found that it doesn't like there was just no room to like get past. No, we're not going to spend too much no. time in here because we just dropped one off again, but... Um, yeah, I'm not going to be too uh, Pardon me? But yeah, it was yeah, a, it's, it's identical, so I'm going to back out. So there's other people waiting, I believe. Like I say, I've seen that one, so we will, we're gonna have a look at, that was a CV80. I think we're gonna check out the CV40 to see if that is, to see if that is any better. That's this one just here. I think it's gonna be exactly the same, but um, with no pop top. So this is a two berth, two belts. So Max can come with us in this one. Uh, TV up here maybe. Table there, captain's chairs, storage, control units, oven, storage underneath, three ring, sink. This is really similar to the one we've just hired as well. As you've seen presumably in my video I did. The bed looks really narrow, but I can only assume that this okay. extends. He's here. Yeah, this extends out. The mattress will slide out, and then this will drop down the back to give it, make it a bit wider. And then there's like this worktop here where you can watch telly or chill out in the evening. Maybe this could even be used, I reckon, as a. This could even be used, I reckon, as a sofa, like a lounge area. Telly up here. Oh, here's a telly point here. Lounge out here. Storage above. 
nice big skylight fridge and everything pretty much the same as we've just if we just give oh that's a better idea that's a that's a double bifold door so it doesn't take up as much space so that is the cv60 This one's a CV20, two berth, two belts, very similar again, except the bed goes, when you sleep, the bed goes this way instead of that way. Um, definitely a two person camper. Bit tighter at the front here, um, but loads of room at the back where the lounge is. I'm guessing there's a table that you can, that will go in the middle there somewhere, like a pop up table. I'm sure there's a, oh, there's one here, look. Uh, captain's chairs, fridge, all pretty similar to what we've just seen. The only difference is instead of the fridge being there, the fridge is at the front here. So fridge cupboard here instead of fridge cupboard there, which means there's more of a bed that way. That would be a massive bed actually. Everything else looks pretty much the same. Storage, storage up here, toilet. That was the CV20 and we're going to see if we can have a quick look at the CV40. So that is the CV40. It is pretty similar. I think it just is four berth with uh, two at the front, two at the back. I'm just going to check that actually. Hold on. No, so there's three berths, so that would work for us. But we know it's too tight inside for us, so um, pretty much similar layout as the CV 20, uh, 60, and 80. We are going to wander on to the next place. Berths for seat belts for. Up there? Berths for seat belts for so it must be there, there's a ladder darling. Ladder. Two up there, dinette here, big kitchen honey. Yeah. Really big kitchen. This is quite nice. It is, it's really nice. I think nice. I've seen one of these before. I think I saw one of these at the other motor home show. So I remember this it's sink. Really nice. Let's keep, Plenty let's of I'll, I'll grab that, is that yours? I don't mind carrying it, you are. No, there's nothing in there, so we don't need to keep it. Fixed beds. Oh, the wardrobes are either side. Little privacy door. The wardrobes are either side. Yeah, wardrobes are either side. This might be a bit. Again, you can leave the bed I know, you see what space? You can leave the bed made up. Yeah. You can't not see the bed made up, and you've got a lounge area, but you haven't got a Well, it's lounge. a dinette more than a lounge, isn't dinette it? Dinette more than a lounge. Let's have a look in here. Wow, big bathroom, proper shower. Like this, nice yeah. bathroom. It's big though, darling. You see how long it is? Set fire, you you see how long it is? Daddy, come in. I don't mean. Yeah. Please like, subscribe, guys. Daddy is the best YouTuber in the world. Oh, I didn't tell him to say that either. <laughs> Pretty nice. Max. Oh, and honey. We could sleep out here. You says that you jump down, sit down here, and. Uh, morning max sleep up there and the bed. Or he sleeps up there and I just still come down here. I sleep up here man. <laughs> but it's the size because of Because we could concoction like a curtain some sort of curtain to go up there. Yeah. Oh, there's a little bit of space here. Yeah. 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 Right, that's it. Let's move on. I'm looking for a particular van at the moment. Yeah, for the best, the best YouTuber in the world. <laughs> come on, Max. Okay, come on, guys. Well done, Maxi. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Is there only one come there? There's only two on the other one, wasn't there? Oh, there's one there. There's only one. Oh. No. 
again it's is very similar to the CV80 yeah. um, in fact it's identical it's just different brands got different badge on the front auto trail instead of Eldis but it's probably better do you know what though this better. looks better daddy I'll take it from here to show the camera. They've got a trim around that one, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So going up, we've got this. Yeah, up yeah, here, definitely. Massive bed space. It probably for... would, yeah, it probably would eventually, yeah. But at least it's. Um... Chill out, I guess. <laughs> so I've got hay cups. Um, they haven't got a button though, so I don't know how the roof. I don't know how the roof stays down. Fresh boxy looking. Fresh boxy looking. I'm not taking any of the Oh, there's a table. Oh, no, sorry. I thought it was a table. This one is quite large. Oh, it's slightly different. It's really narrow here again, though. It's really narrow. So this fridge and cupboard is the other way around in this one. Yeah. Fridge at the bottom, cupboard on top, which... Swings and roundabouts, I think, isn't it? And there's the covers on this side. Yeah, they're, they're the blinds, darling. So the covers on that side. Okay. Come on, Max. Let's grab your bag. I think this one's better. So just yeah. really, really narrow here. That's the only thing that when you're trying to cook and move around and stuff. Um, oh, but still, way, still well kitted way, out. Guys. By the way, guys, if you like and subscribe, <laughs> I'll be a massive fan of you. <laughs> so Suzanne just made a good point. This table looks better because it collapses down. So to have this space here, you don't have to take the whole table off. So that's better. And these seats look much more comfortable. Don't they? Yeah. And the cupboards are bigger, are they? Cupboards seem mm -hmm. bigger. It just seems like it's better made. This is a bit better made. made, yeah. A bit better fitted out, I think, even though the the crux of it is the same. This is a like that one? I like that one. It's fitted out better. Okay, moving on. Yeah. So this is another one that's full berth, but it's got a bed that slides down. Oh yeah. So simple roof, still got the dinette. But I think the, the door opening this way is better. Yeah. I think. I still think it should be a sliding door. Yeah, so do I. Daddy up here. I just asked him about how you what you do. Hi darling. <laughs> you might want to get down because you might get told off. <laughs> So this is the frontier. So at the front you've got a bed up top above the cab which I think sleeps two and one chair that swivels. I'm not sure if that one does but this one certainly does obviously. Four ring burner with a grill and an oven. Nice work surface. I like the cut out here. That's good. Very nice work top actually in drainer. There is Decent storage up top. Nice big cupboards. I really like this skylight as well. There's a dinette here, and I would imagine that this is where the table clips. More storage up there. And then down the back here, we have freezer there. Microwave tucked away neatly behind that board with a big fridge below. And here must be the bathroom. So there's a toilet, shower cubicle with its own sliding door, I guess. Oh no, folding doors. Decent shower. It's got its own shower head, not shared with the tap. And a lounge area at the back, which will, I think, 
convert into a bed. Got nice blinds going around. Let's do one that's already down so I don't break anything. So you've got blackout blind and a fly screen and tons of storage around the top. Unfortunately I can't get around this one to show you the outside because it is parked extremely close to another van. Um, television in this corner, You've got your light switches, that's handy when the lights go off a little night light comes on which is a really good idea and then three drawers there and a real big cupboard with a wardrobe there's a table which will go in between this lounge at the back so I like that the light comes on there's a door open so uh, yeah that is the Frontier model so I hope that was useful Isn't it? Like said, who said that? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, look at this. Isn't it nice, honey? This is my dream camper van. Oh, it's so nice. not a camper van, oh, darling. And the bed comes down. Oh yeah. Motorist So the setting is. I don't know how that comes down. Does it pull down? I don't know. No, it might be electric. Yeah. It may not be, but. Let's not break it because we really can't afford it. It's a big table, isn't it? It's lovely. Sit down, honey. Let me see how you're looking at it. I love it. Oh, yes. I think it suits you, darling. Can we get two? Space. I know. Look at the world. Top. It's only got two rings, though. I know. Only it's two it's rings. Got it's got loads of storage space. There's a sink. Big fridge. Get in it. Don't know how you get in it. Other one, other side. <laughs> That's how you get in it. I love it. Look, this is the one that I would like. Hello. Hello, darling. Well, that's a proper shower, isn't it? Yeah. That is a proper shower, dude. What's in here? Proper toilet. I think that is a porcelain toilet. And it's a porcelain toilet as well. One hundred and fifty-three thousand of your hard-earned pounds will get you this motorhome with your surround sound speakers here, or oh, maybe not surround sound, but wall wall speakers. This is air conditioning. This is this is the green caravan if you want to buy it or whatever it is. You can see it on the Massive cupboards. It's good, isn't it, Max? This is like the dream. <laughs> We're all gonna get two, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got your bag, darling? Look at all the different layouts you can get. Water comes out and you wet it. Daddy. Think she's there. Go to shower, guys. <laughs> what is all this about? Is it like a sauna? Oh. It's got a sauna. No. Is it a dog wash? It must be a dog wash or something. I just, I'm scared this is but whatever it is. No, kid. just leave it. It won't be plumbed in, darling. They're crazy if they plumbed in. No, this is actually a sauna. So these videos are probably super fragmented because I'm just walking around and going in vehicles as we find them. Oh, this is big. Isn't this nice? Daddy Gander's a toilet. So this is the back, isn't it? This is the back. So that's strange. Oh wow. And that was closed. Okay. Like, wow, well, what is that? And then this goes through to the toilet, sink, big shower, and then the drive. Oh, so this must close as well then? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Oh, I think it does. Yeah, it does. So that closes. So you can shut the driver's seat off and you've got your bathroom. Then so this becomes... Closes. So this becomes a separate, but this becomes like your bathroom. You've got the driver's seat there, shower, wardrobe here. It's almost like a dressing room. This is a pilot something. I'm not sure of the model because I just jumped in here as I was walking past. Hanging rail. 
and then this goes through to the living See area. The door. You can look at this. I like this. I've only got two rings again. Big seating area. Big seating area. Where do you sleep then? There's a bed up there. The bed here and here. So Max up top and us below. Yeah. Or just me and you when we're rich and famous. We like it. Come on then, let's crack on. Yeah, let's it's good, it's very nice. Things that we don't need to go in. No, we're not buying a, we need to look at ways to upgrade our Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Um, so that was a pilot, so let's have a look at the model number. Price of displayed vehicle, 72,000. That's not bad, is it? So that I one really, was really like 70, that's a toilet cassette. 72,000, which what you get inside. It's really good. It's nice. Really good design, like good design, really good layout. Hats off. Key lots, I think it is. It's shoe storage. Oh, yeah. Wow. P lots, pilots. I'm not sure how you say it. I think it's P lots. Very nice. Okay. Let's keep wandering. So this is an auto sleeper, I think. Auto sleeper symbol plus. A uh, bit of a different layout than what we're used to, I think. You don't that often see, well, I don't anyway. Got the seats here, only one turns by the looks of it. Lounge at the front, but then you've got this area at the back here which has toilet shower in one corner, kitchen in the other corner. Which I think a lot of people like the lounge at the back so you can flow, throw the back doors open and look out over those wonderful vistas, the beaches and mountains and stuff. But this I think gives, might give you a little bit more space because you don't have that big lump in the middle. Oh, by the way, where the, um, where the toilets and um, to where the toilets and uh, shower and that normally goes. So different layout. You don't get that view out the back, but it's um, it still might be an option. Did you want to say something, Maxie? Yeah, to the camera. Yep, I'm just showing people. So let's go to home. I go on the Apple for free, but I kind of mad. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put it for sale. So if you want to buy it for eight pound eighty eight, go ahead. My one thousand so, subscriber will get a free apple. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Subscribe, and if I get to one thousand, I'll pick a lucky number to get a, a lucky person between seven hundred and forty-one and one thousand, and you get a free apple. Ta-da! It was seven hundred and forty-one at the time I'm recording this, by the way. Anyway, back to the van. Yeah, so this is a bit of a different layout, Max, isn't it? A lot more space. Good for two people, I think, because you'd probably have to turn this into a bed, wouldn't you? Good for two, babe. So that's it. You got the bed. So much quieter here now between sort of three and six o'clock than it was between 10 and three o'clock. Okay, so welcome to Hall 4. In Hall 4 we have some holiday homes for sale. I'm gonna cut through this way. So Max is gonna give me a tour of a Haywood. Uh, what are these called? Static caravans, mobile home? No, not mobile homes, static caravans, I guess. Two beds, sleeps four. Wow, this is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Got a fruit bowl, let me see if it's actually real. It looks real. Yeah, that's real. Lounge area, nice telly. Spacious, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just go here. Kitchen area with an island. Come in here, Daddy. Okay, what comes through here? Oh, big bedroom, so you could have two singles or a... With a wardrobe. Double. Oh yeah, big wardrobe. I have a look in the wardrobe. So you could have a double in here, couldn't you, or two singles. Yeah. Here's the bathroom, it's got a shower. Wow, I like it. I'm not plumbed in, so don't wee on it, okay? Nice. So then this comes in, through. Daddy, in. <laughs> They've got slippers and everything. They are makeup. Look, getting ready for a night out. Yeah. And then this is the bathroom. Another bathroom. En suite. Wow. That's exactly what Mummy said. En suite. Yeah. Exactly. 
Nice. Now, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna show you another one and you can decide what's better. Okay, we're gonna go look at another one apparently. I, I'm just gonna guess around. Right. You went to the Okay, so this is another one that we're gonna look at. I think this might be a little bit smaller, I'm not sure. Big cupboard there for your post for your insulation pipes. Yeah, Daddy and me are good news. Daddy and me are good inside who's better. And you can see nice, well, the comment section below. Look at this radiator. Just stand there. Just stand there. Just stand there. It's nice, isn't it? Okay, and then we come through here. What have we got through here, Max? Bathroom. Bathroom, okay. Big bathroom. Shower, yep, yeah, I like it. Single would be like ours, we have in our house. What have we got in here? We've got two bedrooms. Let's go in the twin room first. Yeah. Little wardrobe there, dressing area there, so you can yeah. do your makeup, Max. Two beds, twin beds, could get a double in here as well if you wanted to, yeah. I guess. And then in here we've got well, the bedroom look, area. You can, you can borrow one of these, so it's, uh, it's called the NEC Motoma Show. Caravan and Motoma Show. Yeah, at the NEC it is. Uh, and apparently if you buy them here you get good deals. Uh, two hours away from the New Forest. Yeah, New Forest. I think I like the other one better. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say. I think I like the other one better. Me too. Right, how do we get out of there? What do you decide? So comment down in the section below, just down there. I think we have to go out that door, darling. Because it says no exit out there. Oh, we can go around this way, actually. Yeah, Let's go around this way. I did Turn right. Because that way he said no exit. Yeah. And that one was Mummy. called the Mapleton. Okay, let's go find Mummy. She's over there. Yep. There you go. They were good, weren't they? Yep. And that was a not very caravan and motorhomey, but I thought you might find those interesting. I think it was a good show. I'm welcome back tomorrow. Sorry, I've got hiccups <laughs> still. Um, this, um, it's good so far. We're coming back tomorrow, so again. <laughs> you really got the hiccups, haven't you? Yeah. What was your favourite bit, Max? Uh, uh, getting the balloons. Oh, yeah, Max got some free balloons. For free. He got three pounds. A balloon? No, that is free. You got a balloon from the free. Royal Company. I don't know what they sell, what they do. I can't get hold of it probably. <laughs> Royal, I'm not sure what they do. Keep on burping. And he got a poodle, poodle from a West Ham supporter. So we're going to pop this as soon as you get outside. Yeah. No Come on, not. you Spurs! <laughs> Later. Yeah. Well, and we're out. Oh, yeah. yeah, eight hours later. Eight hours later. And we're out. So that was day one. Uh, it's I've massive, bought, isn't it? Huge. And um, we've bought a dressing gown. Balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Mags has got two balloons. For free. So it was massive. We saw so the much to that see. We hired. Yeah. And I still don't like it that much. No. It's not right for us. But I um, saw another one that's very similar by Auto Trails. And that was, seemed like it was built a lot better. Yeah. That's quite nice. This might be dark like actually because we're walking through the car Dad, park and it's, you, the sun is how setting. How do you foul yourself when someone's yeah. near you trying to foul you? Just kick into your foot and <laughs> fall down and you But I think tomorrow we're going to go back and look at the awning. Yeah, look, look at the awnings, try and find some heating for the, heating awning, for the awning and see how much, see if we can put a kit together, and see how much that will cost. Lighting. And lighting. And lighting. And also, um, we didn't really look around halls four and five much. No. So we may do that again near the end of our time here. So that was day one. Come this way, Max. Don't get run over. That was day one. We are now heading back to get day two. tea and back to the hotel. 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 So for gin tonic. For gin and tonic. And in the final part of our NEC motorhome and caravan and camping show, we have a few more things to show you, some clever designs and 
lots more vans and sights and sounds with the NEC. So join us for the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. It's just a bed.